Hello, so here's an idea for alternative housing um, because some people just don't want to leave their cars. I know one guy who is just, he's very much, you see that vehicle? I'm going to die in that vehicle. And I'm just amazed at how many guys, um, once a relationship ends, they like didn't want to be in a house. And homeless is, homelessness is very, majority are men, that's for sure. It's a very male world. Um, but anywho, I know like in Santa Monica, they have like some parking lot um, where you can like go and park for $5 a day, which that's not happening, at least with me. Um, but they do do that. Um, but yeah, instead of all this money towards like apartments that people don't want to be in, maybe you could just put like a high rise parking <laughs> garage, which for free, that would be great. Or, you know, just minimal money, of course, if. I don't know, in my book, if you charge me money, you better have a private shower that I can wash up in. Um, but yeah, so that could be an alternative. You could get people off the streets and into a parking garage. I mean, you really do have people that don't want to be in an apartment. I know people are like, oh my gosh, you need counseling. It's like, you know what? Maybe you're the one who needs counseling. <laughs> and I know for me, I know in the apartment, um, I'm like... I'm a canary. Uh, I'm a canary in a coal mine. <laughs> you know, everyone's like, we're fine. And I'm just like, <laughs> and dying. Like, I'm almost dead. It's like, we're not, we're like, yeah, you, you are somewhat functioning, but we're not okay. And I, I am highly sensitive to, like, everything. And now, if one, someone in the apartment complex had, there was, what is it? Like, electronic, um, had something done electronically. You know, a van came, and <gasps> from that day forward, like, they had some issues but I was handling it but after whatever they had changed in their apartment like my my whole wall would just like vibrate and I had this constant like electricity like to the point where it was vibrating my one wall and I mean I had friends come over I had their husbands come over like how do we and I like multiple times was <laughs> talking to like the people at the who ran that um apartment and they're just like, oh, some, some apartments are noisy. Some are quiet. You got a noisy one. Ooh. It's like, you know what? It wasn't this noisy. It's something electronic because ever since that like, electronic van was here, like doing like, it was, I don't know if it was for cable or it was some electronic type thing. Like I just, I couldn't handle it. And it's like, I can't handle everything. If you want to be under the watch and, you know, let the government know every time you like flush a toilet and turn on a light, that's, that's okay. And if you can handle the all the high frequencies of everything that's going on in the air great but not everyone can i know i think there should just really be safe places of where you could go <laughs> and like buy a little plot of land where you're free of wind turbines and the little things that people like the mini wind turbines and um just this excessive electricity and that's interesting because like people are always like I watched the most fascinating thing on this couple that's living like in the outback in New Zealand and her thing was like it's so fast and that's what I hear from a lot of people it's like everything's just so fast and even people who live in houses I was talking to someone here because like every year they go back for a week to her home state and I'm like do you miss it do you wish you were back there and she was just like no I like it here my life is here my family and friends are here she's like I just what I don't like about here is how fast it is. This It's just so incredibly fast paced. I don't like it. She's like, we've been here 20 years and it's just non-stop. She's like, that's not like that where I come from. It's far slower paced. My thing is not like the pace as much, but like the fakeness. Just the incessant need for, like, there's just way too many lights. I had a doctor's appointment yesterday, and usually the doctor I see, he has, like, a little lamp, which I'll, like, I'll just leave that on, and I turn, like, the excessive fluorescent light off. But this other doctor, he didn't have that option in his room. So that sucked, but, um, it's just so bright. Everywhere is just such an overkill on, like, all these, like, let's make everything, like, floor-to-ceiling windows and then put a ton of lights on top of that and everything's so noisy, even, like, first thing in the morning. There's no respect for, like, not only, like, seasons, but seasons of the day, like, how it's, you know, usually calm and quiet in the morning and then it builds up and 
now it's just like everyone has to have music blaring 24 7 they have to have like any and every light on and it has to be as bright as possible and you know and oh the bicyclists with those damn LEDs. I mean, it literally blinds me. I mean, it just is like, are you trying to cause an accident? I mean, there's no reason to blink. You're not an emergency. And there's no reason to have LEDs that, you know, just blinds people. I mean, people do get migraines, light induced migraines. I know I do. I mean, there's a fabric store and they're across the nation. It's like, and I can't go into that store because within two minutes I will have a migraine. It's just the waste of resources and just the overkill on everything it's just too much just too much so i really don't like that i don't do well with chemicals and just how like oh how so many lawns you know whether they're for industries or people it's just so many chemicals on them which is just asinine especially if you have well water because it's like you know they're just seeping down and going into our well water <laughs> maybe we all wouldn't be so sick if we didn't have so many you know fertilizers and pesticides on our lawns seeping into our um well water or into the water and, and that goes the same with companies they always dump everything out it's like you know you're killing us so don't tell me I'm like phony baloney when, you know, you have all these pesticides everywhere and just all these chemicals. And it's just disgusting. They say they can find like estrogen in like everything because like so many women are on birth control. It's like maybe that's part of the problem with men being girly. Um, there's just too much estrogen and just our food sources. It's just they're so unnatural. You know, it's just unnatural the size of things now. It's just... There's just no respect for anything. I really don't like that. So I just find the whole thing just really, um, there's just too much fakeness in the world right now. And it's just, he likes a noise. It's just overbearing. It's very unpleasant. So, alrighty. Bye-bye.